Hey, you come in here a lot? Every other day. I don't remember seeing you. I guess we must be on different schedules. Misconnections. We have different time zones. Amazing. You can live right next door to somebody in this town and you will never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other every day right in front of this place probably. The waiters here, they sure seem to be in some different time zone now. I can't seem to locate one anywhere. The waiter! So, uh... What do you do? Nothing. Sorry. I guess we must be on different schedules. Yeah, misconnections. Yeah, different time zones. Amazing. You can live right next door to somebody in this town and you will never even know it. I know. Is this where you drank from? Yes. Where are you going? City life. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend. Sorta. Of. <laughs> What's a sorta of boyfriend? My husband. Mm-hmm. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Boyfriend. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? We were meeting here to break up. Mm-hmm. What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover! Here she comes right now! Over there! You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just waiting. Oh! That's such a sad occupation for a Friday night, don't you think? I guess it is, in a way. I mean, what is a good-looking woman like you doing out alone, anyway? Trying to keep away from blinds like that. <laughs> no, listen! You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? <laughs> No, just reading. That's such a sad occupation for a Friday night, don't you think? I guess it is in a way. I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone anyway? Listen, I'm out alone on a Friday night for a very long time. Mmm. Yeah, I just ended up a relationship. Oh. A rather long time. Oh. I'm sorry. Well, look, listen, since, uh... Since reading here all by yourself is such a sad occupation, you want to go somewhere else? You want to go do something else? This is a really big chance to let Faulkner catch his breath because I know all those long sentences get him pretty tired. Okay. Yeah, but thank you anyway. Appreciate it. Okay. I mean, really, thank you for your invitation. Sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just waiting. Oh. It's such a sad occupation for a Friday night, don't you think? I guess I was thinking of it as exponentially romantic. You know, cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. That only works in Paris. You know, we could go to Paris. 
We could hop on a plane, get on a Concord, find a nice cafe, go see the Eiffel Tower. Sounds good, but I'm a little short on the plane fare tonight. Darn it, so am I. Mm. To tell you the truth, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along, since you can look at a waiter? <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but uh... Uh-huh. The girl. Two, actually. One of them is pregnant, and Stephanie will... <laughs> She's uh... Okay. A girlfriend? No, no. No girlfriend. Not if you're talking to that castrating bitch I dumped last night. A girlfriend? Sort of. Sort of. It's a sort of girlfriend. <clears throat> My mother? I actually just got out of a relationship, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, of a rather long standing. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about it. Yeah, this is my first night out in a while, and I feel a little bit out at sea, to tell you the truth. Oh, I see. So you didn't stop because you're me, or because you have some weird political affiliation? Nope, I'm a straight down ticket Republican. I mean, I'm straight down the ticket Democrat. <sighs> hey, can I tell you something about politics? You see, I like to think of myself as a citizen of the universe. <sighs> I'm unaffiliated. Oh, that's a relief. So am I. <laughs> I vote my beliefs. Yeah, labels are not important. <laughs> labels are not important. Take me, for example. <laughs> so what if I had a two-point at? I, I mean, a three-point at. Four-point at college. Or if I did come from Pittsburgh. Cleveland! Westchester County. <laughs> sure. <gasps> you see, I believe that a person is what they are. I mean, I, I believe that a man is what he is. I believe that a man is what what they are. Oh, absolutely. I think so too. So what if I admire Trotsky? So, so what if I had a total body liposuction? So what if I don't have a penis? You know? So what if I spent a year in the Peace Corps? I was... I was acting on my convictions. Sure. Yeah. You can't just put a label on a person. Absolutely. I'll bet you, Scorpio. Listen, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? Sounds like fun. What's. <clears throat> playing. A couple of Oh. What well, do you don't like Woody Allen? <laughs> sure, I, I like Woody Allen. But you're not crazy about Woody Allen. Those early ones, they kind of like... Get on my nerves. Uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say you were. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, it's cool, go ahead. No, it's fine. I was headed out to the movies in a little while and... Oh, really? So was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Yeah, just up the street. Do you like the early ones? I mean, everyone who doesn't ought to be run out of the planet. <gasps> How many times have you seen bananas? Eight. Eleven. Are you still interested? I mean, yeah, and do you like Antonin's crumb cake? Antonin's <laughs> crumb cake. <laughs> I went out at 2 in the morning last night to get one. Really? Did you have an edge sketch as a child? Yeah, and do you like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> no, I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting. <laughs> do you believe in marriage? In spite of all the current sentiments against it? Yes. And children? Three of them. Two boys and a girl. Harvard the Siren Brown. We love me. And cherish me forever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Still want to go to the movies? Sure. 